In Exodus 3, God does something he has yet to do in scripture. We've seen God talk to Abraham. We've seen him do great miracles, but he's never told anyone his real name. Up to this point, he was referred to as God or Lord, which are generic titles. And at this time, the children of Israel only referred to him in the past tense, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So God uses this moment to give Moses his personal name, I Am. And what's exciting about that name, I Am, is that it's present tense. God wanted them to know that he isn't just the God of old, the God of their fathers, but he's their God. He's their deliverer, and he sees their suffering and hears their cries. But listen to verse 15. God says, Yahweh is my eternal name, my name to be remembered for all generations. So before we do the same thing, before we look at this passage and think, but that was for Moses, or that was for the children of Israel, remember that God was clear that this is how he wants to be remembered for all generations. So when we cry out, who is going to give my suffering purpose, or who is going to lead me out of the situation, or who is going to break the chains of bondage over my life? Remember Yahweh's reply, I am.